I have placed my subject on a white seamless and have lit the background using two strobe lights. The lights are positioned to create a crisscross pattern across the seamless, which will create a clean area around the subject. Ensure that there is enough distance between the object in the foreground and your background to eliminate any light spill, which can create a harsh highlight. Grids can be used to effectively direct strobe light away from the subject and eliminate any light spilling into the foreground. However, depending on the size of the grid used, they will also decrease the luminance of the strobe. For this exercise, I have used strobes without grids to achieve 100% white on my background. For the first image, I used a strobe with a 20 degree grid to light the wallet. The hard shadow underneath the fold of the wallet is a common occurrence when working with strobe lights. Adjusting the height and position of the strobe light can change the length and angle of the shadow falling on your subject. A softbox can also be used to light your object, eliminating the hard shadow and creating a more diffused and less noticeable light. I have moved the light around the wallet to demonstrate how light from the softbox falls differently around the edges of the clasp. Lastly, I replaced my fill light with a strip bank to create an even distribution of light on the side of the wallet. Familiarizing yourself with the clues belonging to studio lighting can be the difference in successfully applying your ideas into a finished product.